Okay guys, it's time for another one of these Habs news update thingamajiggies and in today's jiggy we're gonna talk a little bit about Sean Monaghan, a little bit about Carey Price, whoa remember him? Take a look at another 2023 prospect that's been really just winning me over and much much more. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the picture that everybody's been talking about lately. All right, here we go, because our boy, Cole Caulfield, has been hanging out and having a good time with Trevor Zegras, Jack Hughes, and none other than Pierre-Luc Dubois. <whistles> Apparently, they were on a boat together. They might even have a secret handshake. And look at that, it looks like P.K. Subban has been hanging out with these guys too. And here's a picture of a cat, okay? I found this on the internet too. Basically, what I'm trying to say is these, these pictures, they mean nothing, okay? People tend to make something out of nothing these days. Just because Dubois is hanging out with these guys doesn't mean that he's going to be playing for Montreal anymore then he's going to be playing for Afghanistan. So moving on, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Carey Price, who's still under contract until 2026. Oh, figured I'd follow that one up with an awkward silence. But anyway, he sold his house in Montreal and he's gone, okay? It's official. He's moving out west. They took a bunch of sad pictures. Although there is kind of a twist in this story because apparently they are, quote, considering buying property in downtown Montreal to facilitate work that they're going to be doing during the hockey season. So he's gone, but not fully gone. Price is also going to be back in Montreal when training camp starts, and there's actually been a lot of speculation on if he's going to have some kind of a role on the Canadiens team, okay? Now, I know he's been actually doing some work with Samuel Montembeau on the side, including right before he went to the World Championships, which is kind of cool. I mean, he's not actually going to be playing for the team, but just the fact that he shows up and does something makes me appreciate him a little more. Next up on the list, Sean Monaghan is a dirty lord. Just kidding, but uh, it it's kind of funny. Because Monaghan, he spoke with the media just a couple of days ago and he spoke about all the aches and pains. You know what I mean? He was talking about how much WD-40 he needs just to get out of bed in the morning. And guess what he said? He said he feels better right now than what he did in the past five years, which is really cool. But you see, the problem is, I'm pretty sure that he said very similar stuff before last season started. And we all know how that went down, don't we? But look, hopefully this is it. Hopefully he has a good rebound season and all the Gorilla Glue keeps him together in one piece. And he also had some really nice things to say about the coaching staff, about his teammates, about the Habs management. He really does seem to like being a Hab, so best of luck to him. I wish him the best. And finally, the last little tidbit is about a guy that's going to be available at the 2023 draft that's been kind of growing on me a bit, and it's Ryan Leonard, okay? This has been slowly happening over the past couple of weeks. The more and more clips I see of this guy, the more and more I like him. And David St. Louis, who does a lot of work for the Elite Prospects YouTube channel, uploaded a hell of a video yesterday. I'm going to pin it in the comment section. He was just pumping Leonard's tars pretty hard. And I know as much as I want to see the Habs take a player that's from the, the big five, as I like to call them, I wouldn't run into the woods just to kick a moose in the nuts if they do pick Leonard at fifth. I'd be a little pissy, but not overly pissy. <laughs> because I really do think he's going to be a beauty. But anyway, guys, that does it for this quick little Habs news update. Oh, I hope you all enjoyed. If you didn't, I hope you get attacked by a goat. Don't forget to high stick the like button before you leave here. And hey, I'll see you next time.